Today, I'm going to share how I clean data. Actually, this data. And these are some of the common things that I do when cleaning data, and this is actually for um, my fifth graders. And the idea is to take this data, which is made by Gemini, and turn it into this beautifully formatted and cleaned data in Google Sheets. So the first step I'll do here uh, when I'm teaching this is I'm going to make a duplicate uh, of the sheet. And then I'm going to change the name right there. So MCU data cleaned. All right. And then um, I'm going to have a look at how to read the data first of all. So for me, this is not actually technically cleaning, a little bit of formatting, but I'm going to double click on this little divider right here, which will then automatically increase the size of all of the columns so I can read it. Just makes it a little bit easier for me when I'm cleaning the data. Um, so column A is fine. Don't need to do anything in there. Um, but if we look at column B, I'm going to change the format. Uh, you could argue it's not really cleaning this bit, um, but I only need the year. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to highlight these cells here. So that's from uh, B2 right down to B20. And then I'm going to go to uh, Format, and then down to Number, and then uh, Custom Date and Time. So this is the current one it's got. We've got month first, followed by day, then the year. So I'm actually going to delete all three of those from that time format. And I'm just going to select the year. And it is in this way. There's actually two ways you can to display the year, the two digit or full numeric. So I'm going full numeric. I'm going to click apply. Because we don't need the, the years for the analysis that we'll do later. Okay, the next one is I'm going to take column C here, which you can see is in USD billion or billions, and um, I'm gonna convert that into millions. So first of all, I'll change the name right there, and millions. And then the idea here is I'm going to change the, where it says 0.585 to 585 million. So to do that, I'm gonna uh, hop over to a cell that's not being used. And I'm going to multiply the value by a thousand to get my millions. So equals, and then I click in the cell, which is C2, that I want to multiply by 1,000. And there we go. Um, love this from Google Sheets, thank you. It does the suggested autofill, saving me the clicking and dragging down, but it's great, thank you guys. So I'm just going to uh, select yes to autofill, and then I'm going to select all of that data, okay? I'm gonna copy it, so Command-C, working on a Mac here, and I'm gonna go across here, and instead of selecting Edit Paste, I'm gonna select Edit Paste Special, and then Values Only. Um, because if I don't, oops, if I just paste it normally, it does this. So you get a reference error, um, which he, in this case means because we've copied and pasted from here, into the original values that we were working with. Of course, it, those, lo those values no longer exist, so you get that reference error, error. So that's why it's really important to do a paste special values only, okay? Then we can delete this, the, uh, where I copied it from, this data here, delete that. And then here, I wanna do two other things, just to make it a little bit more readable. One is to get rid of the decimal places so I'm gonna uh, knock them off, clicking this button three times. And then I'm gonna change it from uh, just normal uh, just a string here and number. So I'm gonna change that to um, currency. So go to format, number, and then US dollar. Okay, so great. And again, get rid of those decimals that I put back up. Okay, that's all I need. While I'm here, actually, at the these numbers here, I want them centered because it's not a text string. So I'm going for um, center on those, just to make it stand out. Okay, so the next bit of data that I need to clean are these records here, okay? What it should say is uh, 
Robert Downey Jr. as the male lead. But we can see it's got that extra uh, dirty data, I suppose, this one space and then parentheses. So we need to get rid of that. Now, on a small data set like this, it's very easy just to you know fly through and just delete it one by one. But if you're working with hundreds or thousands of rows of data, you know, that's going to take you a long time. And us humans, you know, we're prone to making mistakes. So in order to get rid of this one space and parentheses, I'm going to use the write function. I'll explain that as I go through and uh, type it in. So start with an equals there and then equals write open bracket or parentheses. And then I'm going to select um, C2, oh, sorry, D2. And then I'm going to put a comma space len, which is short for length and then open another parentheses and then select the same cell, close parentheses and then put in minus three. So essentially what this formula does is it will extract a specific number of characters from the right side of a text string. Okay, that's why we put the right. The len is short for length. So basically it will count uh, the minus three Okay, which would be getting rid of one space and zero. So we just press enter to see that that does that for all of the cells. Okay, and again, we're just gonna use that suggested autofill. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy all of those values into uh, the dirty data and then edit, pay special values only. And so we can go back here, we can actually reuse this formula for female leads as well. And all we need to do here then is just change the D to an E because of course, that's where those cells are. Okay, the column number. So again, D to E, done. And then it didn't give me the suggested autofill, but I'll just uh, click and drag that down. Awesome. So I'm gonna copy that and then paste special with values only. And then I'm gonna get rid of the old data. Now while we're here, you can see here these various are multiple lead acts. So I'm gonna take out all the Avengers movies. Sorry guys. Um, actually the Infinity War is my favorite, but it's gotta go this time. And then the Avengers, it just for the purpose of this, uh, this lesson that I'm doing, it's just, we wanna make it relatively simple. And actually while we're here, we can then go down and clean up this one as well. So you can see at the minute, it took out those three characters where it should have said multiple, um, but we do know that uh, Captain America is the, the lead here. You could argue for Iron Man as well, but we're gonna go with uh, Chris Evans who plays uh, Captain America. We're just gonna go ahead and copy and paste that in there. And then the other one, the other lead actress is Scarlett Johansson, um, which we're gonna go ahead and paste in there. Okay, and again, both of those, uh, the actor and actress here, are American, so we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste those right there. Okay, so now we've done, we've cleaned all the way up to uh, female leads. Now here, what's happened is this data currently in its current form is in one cell, but we need it to be in two cells. Uh, lucky for us, whoever put this data, Gemini, uh, separated the nationality by a comma. And then to fix that, to basically take these cells, or let's try one cell, and then put it into, or take out the, the other American here and put it into this cell, it's real easy. Okay, we just select the cell, select data, and then split text to columns. Now, you can use detect automatically. This is looking for the separator that separates the two pieces of data. And in this case, it's a comma. So we can either detect automatically or select comma. So there we go. So rather than go one by one, I'll just undo that, select all, and then data, split text to columns, and it's remembered that. Now the last column doesn't need clean, the age of popularity, it's all good. And then that's it cleaned. So what I would like to do now though, is just to add a little bit of formatting, uh, just to tidy it up a little bit. So I'm gonna bold the table, uh, the headers of each of the columns. So they stand out, they pop out there and I'm gonna select all these cells right there and I'm gonna add a border. Again, okay, just so it pops out, stands out, easy to read, maybe you like that. And then I can go through 
and maybe change some of the, uh, we can do it automatically actually just by selecting them all like that, double click on the divider, just to make sure that you can read all the data that is within each column and each cell. And then finally, I wanna add a title here. I'm kind of struggling with the, how descriptive it should be to be honest, but I'm just gonna go for MCU, uh, box, office, details. A little bit generic to be honest, but it's the best I can do at the minute without asking AI for a little bit of help. Okay, so we're gonna bold that right there. I'm gonna merge those cells. One of my buddies hates this when we merge, but I don't mind. And I'm gonna center it, and I'm gonna increase the size because it is the title. And then add in a, add a color for the background there. Okay, so at this point, I consider the data to be cleaned, and then uh, we'll go on to the next part, which is in another video. So thank you for watching.